Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Hustling Sideways podcast. I'm Alan Hallis. I'm a music writer. And I'm Jim Lobb, and I'm a keynote and motivational speaker. And we are the Hustling Sideways podcast. Uh, when we don't have guests in between, uh, mm-hmm. we, we like to talk about things that all side hustlers go through. Yep. Uh, people with passion projects, people with their own businesses, all sorts of things like that. And, you know, frankly, we just miss each other. So we're like, you know, we don't have a guest. Let's just talk. Yeah, it's just been a minute. Just generally talk. Yeah. yeah, it's been a minute. So yeah. we haven't actually had a chance to talk about uh, yeah. some of the different topics that... So we're just going to talk. Yeah. Let's just, to, to heck with them. Let's oh, okay, talk. okay. Yeah. Well, How are okay. you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Life is good. <laughs> yes. Um, so we... So we we do have a topic, and yes. uh, I and this is one I came up with, um, not to brag, but, uh, but no, I be I'm asked this question all the time. Um, how do you start? Yeah, what where do, do you what, start what do you do? And so I have people who want to be speakers or folks who think that you know think they have a message and are really passionate about it. They'll give me a call. I've, this has happened, I would guess, fifteen times if I had to throw a number on it. Okay, um, and like I walk them through kind of my career, all this kind of stuff. They're like, well, where do, where do I begin? Right. Like they have they have these thoughts, they have this like mindset, they have a message they want to give, but just have no idea how to do it. And sure. so this answer from Ellen and I will be very different because of the nature of the work that we do, and it's totally fine because I want to throw it out there. Whatever you're into, the way to get started might be different. And that's right. you know, if it's arts and crafts versus speaking, probably going to be a little bit different you know way. But um, from, from from my end, first of all, um, I, I I decided to get serious about it. I think that was the biggest thing is like. I knew that what I had could be something that was more career focused versus just like, oh, I may just want to do this once, you know? Mm -hmm. And so really put like, I had to have that mindset because it it took, it was going to take some work and I knew that. So um, I sought out someone who did it really good, who did really, really well. I've talked about Eric Jackson many times in this podcast and I reached out to him and and so for, um, I found a mentor and I, I would, I would recommend that I find someone who's doing what you do at a high level and, and, um, and learn from them. Um, Mm -hmm. And then after that, I got really scientific about taking the messages I had in my head and putting it on paper in a a really structured format. So Mm -hmm. I'm not going to explain what that is here, but basically, um, I, I, R kind of gave me this, this, this structure and I began writing down actually every night I would come home and, and, and even if I wasn't feeling it, cause it's like going to the gym, you're just like, do I want to do this? You know, like you just have to sit down and get it done. And for like an hour or two every night for about six months, I would begin writing in this structure that he taught me and, and, and it began forming a message, right? Sure. Like, so while I didn't have something I was like, like an event I was ready for, I knew that I wanted to be, it's almost like being like a backup quarterback on the sidelines. Yeah. Like you got, you got to be ready to go in. Fitting that you're wearing yeah, this. this is, it's, yes. You're actually playing backup quarterback I am. at this point for at the this, Bears. At this very yeah. moment, I'm number 22 on the Chicago Bears. Okay. And uh, I don't got to worry about it because Justin Fields is an MVP and here we are. But okay. um, <laughs> I'm going to regret that so hard <laughs> yeah. very soon. Um, but either way, I, I, I really began prepping that way. And then... Um, what happened was I, I I would I would go to a brick wall like a, you know in here and I would just do the talk and I sure. would do it a hundred times and, and I, I would get you know get better and better and, and kind of do the thing and then at some point if you really really work hard enough mm-hmm. you're going to find an opportunity will come your way. Okay. And I was putting my, my name out there. What ended up happening is Arik double booked himself <laughs> yeah. for an event. So I sort of had this luck where he called me. He's like I can't make this thing but you can. Did the thing because I was prepared. And the rest, I don't want to say is history, but like, it, like it worked out. <laughs> it brought right? you to where you are. It brought today. me to where I am. So, sure. um, you, the, 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 my answer to the question is you have to start in, yeah. in, in terms of doing your own prep work, um, for the moment that will pop up and, you know, begin putting your name out there, but have the thing ready, the thing right. that you have, because no one's going to come looking for you. You have to have it ready. And then when that time comes to go, you go, but if that's writing it, if it's starting to make the actual product, do the thing, do the thing that you do. And when you get that, you feel confident and then you're ready to go out there and make it happen. So all that process, then it was repeatable and, sure. I, and I went to do the thing and it went well and I had schools call me and, you know, and here we are. So that, that's a very, it's, it's weird to work at something that you don't necessarily have a concrete end goal in mind, but I knew what I wanted to do and I knew how to get there. And I had thankfully someone who was there to back me up and, and that's how it started. So that would be it is to, to get the work behind the scenes done. Um, yeah. But Alan, I'll let you. Uh, so take it to- there's a lot of ways that I can go with this because mm-hmm. I have a, a music website. Um, we have podcasts. We have this podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we I do events. I do, there's a lot of different stuff that I do, and starting is all kind of a different way. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. a different process for Completely. all of them. Yeah. Um, I think the biggest thing for me that if you're starting to let's say just create content in general. I think you need to do the research. Like you said, you you were researching things and right. kind of writing your talk ahead of time. Right. My thing is, um, if you're going to create media, 
I think you should learn to consume it mm. and like watch yeah. a lot of different things, different styles, yeah. and find what it is that you like first, mm-hmm. including stuff that you maybe don't agree with. Yeah, oh, totally. I think you need to get like that. Like you got to. Right. I, I love that mindset because it's like you have to take it in of what's going on right now. Right. And, and, and for me, landscape. I'm always big on like so production is kind of the thing. For mm-hmm. me, you know what I mean? Yeah. To like. Um, to see, you know, okay, why do I like watching, you know, like, let's say like an NPR tiny desk concert? What mm-hmm. is the appeal of this? Why is this popular? Um, and so you, you're kind of more critical about like the look and feel of things mm-hmm. before you start making it. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I did not do that. And it's very honestly, I, we, I just kind of went, you know what I mean? <laughs> I started writing on the, on my WordPress yeah. website. Uh, I didn't care that we didn't have photos for things or that I didn't have, you know, um, really that good of sentence structure on some of that stuff. Like there was like, a fifth grader doing this behind the scenes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, looking back at like the early days of breaking and entering, I think I had no, you know, I didn't, I created a logo by myself mm-hmm. and it was like, uh, <laughs> a really quick thing on WordPress mm-hmm. or no, not on WordPress on like Photoshop. I took yeah, some yeah. like free font and downloaded that. And then I later on <laughs> saw like a million other things with that font. Um, <laughs> So eventually the things that I learned was like, okay, like I had a friend who's a graphic designer do Mm -hmm. my logo. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I learned like to have multi-camera production, I should have three cameras or however many cameras that like all look kind of the same Mm -hmm. because that's Mm -hmm. good because the end product like. Consistency is really yeah a big key yeah Yeah. and so like but that all came from watching things and realizing okay why is this good Mm -hmm. why does this fit for me you know what i mean like why is this something that i want to engage with why is this something i want to come back with taking the pros of a lot of that and like putting it to your own yeah i like that yeah taking the best things of the stuff that you want to make Mm -hmm. eventually Mm -hmm. or you know finding similar things and say okay well taking the bits and pieces that work and i think the other thing that is highly underrated is figure out what you can do to make it unique. I love that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like, I hear this all the time where people are like, well, we want to do the Milwaukee version of this, especially <laughs> in music. Yeah. I hear a lot of people say, well, we want to make the Milwaukee version of blah, 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 the Milwaukee version of this, <laughs> the Milwaukee version of that. And like, that's cool, but you're straight up copying something yeah. that exists already and might not translate to Milwaukee. Yeah. Yeah. So like find something that is going to be your thing mm-hmm. um, and don't do the Milwaukee version yeah, of, or that's... don't do the, your version of find the bits and pieces you like take those bits and pieces yeah. and put that it's, into the it, thing your that's flare. your thing. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I think we a lot of our guests have had that too. Yeah. Like cuz we have people who do a lot of similar stuff, um, yeah. but it's fully theirs and, right. and and they've taken it and, and to your point and everyone does this. You borrow bits and pieces from people you respect and admire and and that work for you, mm-hmm. but then you make it yours. Like I could say my my talk uh, Arik has a huge part. Like I like when I a lot of things I do are shadowing him, yeah. but it's me. Like, and I, I've right. taken it into what I do and just kind of added his cool flair to it because it was like, I loved it. Yeah. I'm like, but now this is my, like, our talks are very, very, very different. I was going to say, but it's not like, like you're doing an impression it's sort of, of you know, it's like when a comedian says who they're inspired by and they sure. like, that's kind of how it is. And so yeah. and you'll have people like that, which is great. And you should yeah. find it, but make it to your point, you know, like I'm thinking spotted cow and like cheese curds are just being tossed on whatever they're talking about <laughs> to make it Milwaukee. To make it Milwaukee. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> um, so yeah, take inspiration, but yeah. don't be, be a straight up copy. Exactly. Don't do an imitation. Yeah. You know so I think. What it comes down to, team, is is uh, team. I sound like a boss or something. I wish like. I would have also thought of inspiration, not imitation. I should put that on a t-shirt. There it is. Oh, that's a great t-shirt. Yeah, they would they would buy that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell you, them. You I can take that. that one. I got it. Yeah. I'll figure that one out. But uh, dude, um, start the thing. Um, begin doing the work and make it your own. Yes. And that's that's important. You will find your avenue. You will find your destination. Um, but it takes some work to get there and to commit yourself to doing that and making it happen. But um, that's what we wanted to say. Uh, if this is hustling sideways, I'm about to steal Alan's stick. So if I, he, he'll call yeah. me out, if I do it wrong, okay. um, we are everywhere you get your podcasts. We're on Spotify. We're on Apple podcasts. We're on a lot of other things that I don't remember, but we're also on Snapchat. We're on YouTube. We're not we're on, on Snapchat. We're on, not on Snapchat. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. We're yeah. on Instagram. We're on Twitter. It's now and- called X. And yes. now called X, whatever the hell it's called. And we are on Reels. And yep. uh, you can find us everywhere. Um, if you want to be on this show, hit us up, hustlingsideways at gmail.com. Um, and you can be here. And we are every week. And I am just struggling with this so no, bad. No, you got it. But Alan, send you in, out. You're inspired, not imitating. You're dang right. I yeah. Guess. And that's, uh, that is the Hustling Sideways podcast. So, Jim. Keep on hustling. We'll see you next week. Cheers. Cheers.